there is this holiday home in Granite Falls that is just so underwhelming. So I thought I would just give it a small renovation. It wasn't that small. It's on a lot called Lakeside Retreat and if you want to go there for a vacation with your sims, it rents for 823 simoleons per day. It's not the worst looking house but it's not the best. I definitely don't like the green roof or the red rails. Also the chimney looks a bit funny. But you know, it has four bedrooms and three bathrooms so it's enough space for your children, teens and adults to stay here. Not only that, but I feel like there's just not that much to do, like unless you're going to send your sims hiking or fishing, there's nothing really on the lot that's worth doing, like you can play that little horseshoe game. I understand that EA probably have building restrictions and that's why there's like less furniture inside than what I would like. But when I send my sims on vacation, I don't want to leave after like a day because I'm just bored because there's like nothing to do. Like the home is in a beautiful spot, I love Granite Falls, it's a really nice world but it just needs to have a better home better holiday home that my sims can come to the other homes around are okay i'd also probably like to do them up to be honest but i usually have like big families which need a lot of space which is why this home is the one that i'm picking on right now and i mean aside from the fact that i just don't really like the way that the original home looked it also didn't have a room that could support infants or toddlers I'm not really sure if maybe they came after this pack was released and so they weren't really like accounted for when it came to the builds but oh my god like I sent my family here for a vacation and they had to bring their infant okay like it's not like they can just leave it at home to fend for itself no I brought the infant it had to sleep on the floor it was not happy about it it was screaming so I made sure to definitely have a crib and a toddler bed included in this build so that when I bring my families here they won't have to sleep on the floor and be real upset about it. So although I butchered the entire original home and yeah just bulldozed it flat to the ground I did keep aspects of it in this new build. All of the bedrooms have their own bathrooms plus there is a main bathroom downstairs as well for anyone who doesn't want to go to their bedroom to go to the bathroom although that's not how the sims works. That includes the toddler slash infant room that has its own bathroom inside. It has a bath so that they can be bathed by an adult and it also has a toddler potty instead of a adult potty. <laughs> I don't think this was an aspect that was in the original build but I thought I'd mention it since we're talking about the bedrooms but each bedroom also has its access to their own private balcony. Except for the toddler room, um, that one has access to, I guess, the public balcony so that the adults can like keep an eye on the toddlers when they're on the balcony. I mean, again, that's not how the sims work. They don't really care about the toddlers, but it, it's like that. The inside fireplace chimney is pretty much in the same spot. I just kind of like extended it a bit further so it didn't look weird with that little tiny skinny chimney top. Another aspect that I kept from the original build is that there is a staircase that's off the main balcony. Um, so you, when, if you're on the balcony, you can go down the stairs to the yard. Um, that was in the original one. I just kind of like flipped it around and made it look a little bit better because I didn't like the one in the original one. And I think that the staircase up to the second floor is probably also in a similar spot to how it was originally too. The best part about this build is it is entirely just base pack and the outdoor retreat pack. So if those are the only ones you own, you can totally download this from the gallery and it will work. That being said, if you do put it down, your sims better be rich bitches because it now costs $1,600 a day to rent this vacation home. 1,657 simoleons per day. That is correct. I think it's worth it though because like now you have a lot of things to do and it looks very pretty. Because it's such a cozy, shady, like nature filled neighbourhood, I wanted this house to also have a sort of cozy holiday feel. So it's definitely a lot of like wood tones in here and I guess the um, outdoor pack has like a lot of handmade looking furniture. 
Also, because it's like a vacation home, I didn't want it to have that personal effect. I wanted it to have a very clean and sleek effect. So it doesn't really have a lot of personal items throughout the build. And just for fun, I did leave out like a little book that has a pen resting on the top, kind of like a guest book. So you can like write down your experience and how you loved it. Sort of like what you get in Airbnb sometimes. And I also left out a digital camera that your sims can use to just like take photos of what they're doing. I think it'd be cool if in the future I had a different family stay here and they could take photos and then maybe the owners of this vacation home or like Airbnb could um, put the photos up on the wall or put it in the guest book or something. So if you go on vacation with like a big family, sometimes you do want your own space. And so there's a lot of different areas here that different people can hang out in. Um, the bedrooms, for example, are all separate. So the first bedroom, which is what I would consider maybe the master bedroom, although they're all kind of like master bedrooms since they have all en suites. Um, but the biggest bedroom is just as you come in the front door and it's beautiful. And I didn't even know that there was that bed with the Van Gogh on it. It's so gorgeous. I'll definitely have to use that in more builds. But yeah, that bedroom is separate. It has a really big ensuite. Um, and then it has its own little private outdoor space, which I've just put a chessboard in. And then the other three bedrooms are upstairs. So I already spoke about the toddler bedroom a little bit. Um, but the other two are on opposites or the entry is on opposite sides of the house upstairs. Um, they both have their own balconies, which aren't very exciting. I just put a chair on one and then a bench on the other one. Um, but again, they're very cozy looking. Right now we are decorating the toddler room. I wanted to do it first because I thought it was so important, at least for my family aspect, um, that we had this toddler room in the vacation home. And I went to put down a changing table and I didn't even realize this, but there are no changing tables in the base game. So I guess the changing table must have just come with a different pack, but I can't say I ever noticed that they didn't exist in the base pack. It's just super weird to me that they wouldn't even include like one since, you know, infants are in the base game. I mean, it's not a big deal. You can still change your infant without the changing table. I just like to have them there for realism. So once I realized that I wasn't going to put down a pre-made changing table, I decided to just kind of like make one. <laughs> so I just put some counters down, like kitchen counters. Um, and then I got an ottoman with a really nice like pillar looking top. And then I just used the control nine key to raise it into the counters. So it kind of looked like a changing table, but it obviously won't function like one. So coming back to the separate areas everyone can hang out in, downstairs you would have seen that there is a TV area with a massive TV, so perfect for movie nights. Then there's the fireplace area that is sunken down by two, so that was fun to get a, uh, a fireplace in there. And then upstairs we have this little book nook area, although we're not using the book nook pack. Um, and it's perfect for sitting down, reading a book, just chilling out. And of course there is a little kids area to keep them occupied and keep the adults sane. And then of course this massive bar, which is conveniently right next to the back deck, um, where the adults can have some little drinkies, which is exactly what you do on vacation. We're very quickly furnishing the upstairs bedrooms now and how cool is this little built-in area? I love it so much. It's one of my favorite areas. Um, it's very simple, but like I don't plan out my builds. So when things like this just pops up in my head and I do it, I, quite, I surprise myself like quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I like it. Just finishing up the end of the build now, putting down some extra skill items so your sims have something to do. The paved area at the side of the house is very heavily inspired by like UK courtyard areas. And I do end up putting a spa in there so your sims can have a little fun in the spa. But would you look at that, it's time for the tour. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers!